Hi, I'm Ashikur Rahman. Welcome back to my channel Accounting Celebrity. This is my another video on trial balance. So sometimes you get you get a uh, imbalanced trial balance in the exam paper. So many students face problem to balance this trial balance when they write exam. So today I'll show you how to balance balance a trial balance from a imbalanced one in the exam paper. So let's get started. So, well, uh, look at here. So Wall Street, uh, the following trial balance was prepared by an by an inexperienced bookkeeper okay so this trial balance is is prepared by an inexperienced trial uh, bookkeeper means the one who doesn't know actually how to prepare a trial balance so he did this and he, and finally it contains it contains errors okay so what is said in the question prepare a corrected trial balance so you need to prepare correct trial balance on exam okay so look look at this trial balance so these 20 items are given everything is written properly but finally the answer when when uh, he sum up this answer this uh, this balances are not same on the debit side this uh, inexperienced bookkeeper got one forty one thousand dollars and on the credit side one fifty five thousand dollars but should be same on the both side okay so i'll show you now how to prepare uh, this uh, how to balance this incorrect uh, imbalanced trial balance here okay so look at here so these items are already written here we will find we will take this money and we will put it here and we will try to extract where is the mistake okay so what is first one first one is capital how much capital capital is $61,000 okay so look capital is given on the credit side yes capital is credited and this inexperienced bookkeeper wrote the value of capital on the credit side correctly okay so this is our we are preparing corrected trial balance we'll prepare now corrected trial balance okay so capital is 61000 and it is credit so right oops 61000 dollars okay what is next one trade credits it is a liability and you already know liability liability is always credit because business owes money so nine thousand dollar this is also correct correctly written there okay so next one trade debtors debtors means trade receivable okay so it is an asset so here that one is written on the debit set asset is always debit yes it is written also correctly three thousand dollars okay so next we have sales return look at sales return what is sales return you sold goods but later later you got returned okay so now you have to pay money because you got goods returned it's your expense so nominal account expenses are expenses are always debited okay but here here this is mistake this is incorrect here this inexperienced bookkeeper wrote in the credit side which is not correct okay so it should be debited so we need to debit 5000 okay so we got one mistake mistake what is next one it is rent rent is an expense and expense is debit so it is also correct right over here rent 2000 500 debit side okay fine 
what is next one salary and wages this is also an expense and expense is debit but look what this bookkeeper did what this bookkeeper did he wrote on the credit side which is not correct so it must be debited so right here on the debit side seven thousand five hundred dollars okay good what is next yeah next one is purchase purchase is expense business purchase goods to resell okay difference between purchase and sell is profit or loss sorry income or loss okay see here purchases here how much fifteen thousand dollars so it is written correctly there fifteen thousand dollars okay what is next motor vehicle motor vehicle is ten thousand dollars so motor vehicle is an asset and asset is debited it is written also on the debit side so it is correct so write motor vehicle on the debit side ten thousand dollars okay fine what is next next one is uh, purchase return so purchase return is credited okay it is written correctly here so let us write here purchase return credit side seven thousand dollars next one is sales revenue okay revenue is always credited nominal account so how much revenue thirty three thousand dollars thirty three thousand dollars okay next one is general expenses all expenses debit it is also written correctly on the debit side so let us write here three thousand dollars general expenses then cash cash is an asset current asset so asset is debited so this is also correct seventeen thousand dollar okay next one is loan loan is a liability long term liability liability is credit so let us write here loan credit side and they are also written credit side so loan is correct here so twenty thousand dollars twenty thousand dollars okay what is next bank overdraft look at bank overdraft what is bank overdraft bank overdraft is a liability okay so liability is credit but what is written here it's written here on the debit side so this is not correct he made a mistake here as well so it should be credited how much fifteen thousand dollars so this was a mistake now we need to correct it okay we correct it good what is next one next one is furniture and furniture is debited because it is an asset so how much furniture twenty five thousand dollars so twenty five thousand dollars okay next one is commission receipt what is commission receipt it's a gain okay commission receipt income all incomes are credited all expenses are debited rules of nominal account so it is written here on the credit side credit said that means uh, commission received is correct so let us write here three thousand dollar on credit side okay what is next it is drawings how much twenty one thousand dollars written on the credit side because 
it's an expense of okay? owners took money from the business and this is called drawings how much twenty one thousand dollars hmm finished then we have inventory look at here inventory inventory is eight thousand dollars it's written on the credit side but inventory is an asset current asset so asset comes debit set but it's written here credit side that means another mistake another mistake is made here inventory so let us correct it we have to write on the debit side a thousand dollars because inventory is an asset asset is debited okay finished what is next one yeah it is plant and machinery plant and machinery this is another type of asset uh, non-current asset okay so non-current asset comes debit side here also debited so it's fine no problem so right on the debit side two thousand five hundred dollars okay last one what is last one last one is insurance paid 1500 look at this word insurance paid you paid that means it's an expense okay you paid money goes out for the business it's an expense so expense is always debited but this dumb dumb a bookkeeper wrote it, wrote it on the credit side which is not correct we need to get it corrected so let us write on the debit side because it's an expense and it comes on the debit side so we wrote all the items okay so this is a very common question often you get question on exam paper incorrect trial balance is given you need to correct it and a student get confused how to correct it so see how easy okay so you will have some mistakes here but if you write this mistake in your paper in your in your answer sheet correctly then you see your answer will be balanced okay now add it up check how much comes so if you add up how much yeah it is 100 Forty-eight thousand dollars. Now add up this this side, double side. How much comes? Yeah, it is also one forty-eight thousand dollars. Okay, look at here. Your debit side and credit side are correct, but here you had here one forty-one thousand dollars here one fifty five thousand dollars so this is the way you need to prepare trial balance when imbalance trial balance is given on the exam paper okay so this is all about today's lesson i hope you enjoyed this video and you understood how to prepare a corrected trial balance from imbalanced trial balance okay so that's all for today if you have, if you have any question comment below let me know what you want to see in my next video and uh, and subscribe my channel for more videos that's all bye and take care